Today, we're talking about the Talonclaw U. Captain Slug reached out and asked if I would like to test the U variant out of either a Caliburn or a Talonclaw, and uh, I said yes, that would be awesome. Uh, I personally, since I already have a Caliburn and I've used the Caliburn and my playstyle leans heavily towards competitive now, the Talonclaw is a much better option for me personally, but a lot of this you can assume will go not one-to-one -one, but close to the caliber variant. So today we're not going to talk so much about like numbers and performance in, in terms of raw data, but more about the differences in feel between the two platforms, uh, the U and the standard variants of the caliber and Talonclaw. Now right off the bat, it's just different aesthetically. Like you've got these massive rigid metal U-channel bars here across both sides of the blaster. And it may not be the aesthetic that everyone wants. I get that, totally see it. Uh, I personally think I'm going to wrap these in some vinyl vinyl wrap, like maybe some carbon fiber wraps or something else kind of cool looking. Uh, Cause I really think more white on this would kind of fit my whole aesthetic and take things a, a step further while also making it look a little bit more clean and kind of finished. So that's where I'm at in terms of aesthetics is this to me is a functional decision. Uh, if you want something function wise, like you don't want to print as much, which this, if you can't already see it, cuts down heavily on the amount of printing time required for the blaster itself. So if you're worried about that and you don't want to spend that much of time and worry about maybe replacing as many parts over the course of the lifespan of your blaster, the U variants may be an option for you. Um, now, there are some things that I've noticed that I wouldn't mind seeing a little bit different. Um, one of the first things I noticed uh, actually was for both of these grips, both the pump grip and the grip of the, the blaster itself. As much as I like this style, this rifle style, on the caliber in itself, it has a little bit of give to it. So when you're priming, you can feel it. <sighs> Wiggle is probably more than I would use for naming it, but there's just a slight bit of looseness there when you're priming heavily. And that's not quite the most satisfying feeling. Future Jang jumping in here really quick. Uh, while I was filming some B-roll of testing groupings, I wanted to test a couple other things and I encountered something that I wanted to share. That, that grip should not be doing that. Uh, so, I was curious because I've never used one of these rifle grip styles on a caliber. And there was that little bit of wobble that I was mentioning, mentioning and I wanted to see how far I could push it and how much there was. So instead of like, holding it like I would normally, I was really yanking down on the bottom portion of this to see how much I could get it to move. And well, I got it to move plenty. So Captain Slug shipped me a regular grip style uh, to fix this. However, with everything going on, I'm trying to stay inside as little as much as possible and not leave the house. So I probably won't pick that up from the PO box for a while and I, been sitting on this video as it is and I wanted to get it out so people could you know watch it um, but yeah just be aware this is something I encountered uh, this has not changed my opinion on the Talonclaw itself it has altered my perspective on this style of grip which I probably uh, would not personally recommend. I will pretty much always be going with the standard grip style uh, that is that all one piece kind of design that we all have known for uh, as long as the 3D printed caliber has been around. So uh, just a quick little addendum that, you know, still important to share just in case anyone is planning on doing something similar. It's also one of the reasons why I don't really have B-roll for this, because, well, this doesn't look too good to take B-roll of. Hard to get a nice glamour shot when I, I done borked the thing because I was doing something foolish. So with that said, let's go ahead and get on back to it. Now, the good news is 
you don't have to go with this grip on either the Caliburn or the Town Claw. You can go with the standard version, which uh, for future blasters, I probably will. Going up to here, I don't actually feel the wobble in the grip itself, but there's a bit of wobble on the slide itself, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, I talked to Captain Slug and currently, he, or at least when I talked to him, he didn't have a resolution for this. Maybe there's one in the works, maybe someone in the community can sort it out. Maybe it's just something that has to be settled with for this design. I don't know if there's something that could slot into the U channels themselves since they do uh, have slots in them since they are U channels that maybe part of this could slide in so there's a little bit less room for wiggle. It doesn't change so much the performance, it's just kind of a comfort kind of thing and stability feeling. Like, if I'm playing competitive, I want everything to feel solid. For a casual regular game, it's not that big of a deal to me. It, it's not going to make or break it, but again, for a competitive setting, I would want this to be a little bit more uh, tight. The tolerance is to be a little bit tighter. Um, now you can get these variants with or without a stock. I personally like having a stock just for a little bit of stability. Also because I'm not a strong person. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's probably not too surprising. I actually have trouble with the K26 in this, which is something else that I noticed uh, that I need to see if it's the same on other Talon Claws, because this is actually the first one I've owned. The Prime is a bit heavier than it is on a Caliburn for a K26, for me personally. So I don't know if that's something to do with design or with um, just some other aspect that I'm, I'm not thinking of here. But worth noting, probably not an issue for a lot of you since I'm not strong. So I struggle with a lot of things in that regard. But in terms of performance and whatnot, shooting felt fine. Shooting felt the exact same, so like functionally in terms of performance, that's why I didn't want to dip into like numbers and stuff like that because it's a talent claw. What you do with a talent claw will dictate what the performance is like with the original talent claw variants and the caliber and whatnot. So it shoots, it shoots well. When I was shooting, also uh, this scar barrel does not come with it. I forgot to take it off before starting to film. Uh, we'll talk about this another time potentially. Um, yeah, I had no issues with actual function in terms of shooting performance and whatnot. So if you have any concerns there, I didn't experience any issues. Now I will hopefully get to go game test this next time we have a boss game I can make it to and get to run something high powered. So uh, I will update if I do encounter serious issues that I missed before when testing. Um, otherwise, it's nice to have options. You all know I love options, and this provides more. I love seeing what people do with all the different variants of things uh, in the Caliburn family and the Talon Claw versions and all of that. And this just provides people with more options. People that want something minimalized, want something a little bit different, want something that feels more stable and less reliant on a few threaded rods and more on big chunky pieces of metal. This is solid. Like I know I talked about this grip wiggle, but the rest of this thing is it, it's a monster. It is a beast and I, I like you're you're not going to feel this flex when you're playing with it. It is substantial and that to me is nice because it goes back to that reliability stability feeling especially in a competitive setting it feels less prone to breaking uh, now obviously any blaster can break at any time during a game but uh, 3d printed blasters have a bit more potential to do so so by lowering the number of pieces or uh, increasing the overall stability rather I feel like this would serve me better potentially than the original Talon Claw, 
uh, in terms of taking a beating. Like if I were to dive with this thing and slam it on the ground, I'd feel better about this than the original. Maybe it's a placebo effect because it feels chunkier, but it's just kind of the, the sense I get from holding it. So what it comes down to is personal preference, I think. Uh, I feel like there's less I will need to kind of maintain between rounds on this blaster, but I could be wrong over time. Uh, again, this just feels like a personal opinion kind of decision. If the few things I mentioned, uh, like the grips, this one is, again, something you can resolve by going with the skeletonized grip that originally is on it. This is something I will be very curious to see if either Captain Slug or the community can find a fix for, uh, or, or some sort of remedy to make it just feel a little bit more stable. Like again, I can prime it, but it's, it's just that little bit of wobble that I would like to not be there. Otherwise, uh, you can get these from Captain Slug and, uh, you know, the files are online as they usually are. I love seeing what people do with them. Uh, again, let me know Captain Slug did send this to me. I did not pay for it. Very clear about that. So if that is an issue for you, take everything I said and ignore it. But if it's not an issue for you, just my thoughts. Uh, this isn't a very formal kind of thing. I just wanted to put some thoughts out there and get them out to all of you because I am uh, curious what everyone else has had and experiences with this and the other Town Club variants and where your preferences lie. Do you like the aesthetic difference uh, or do you prefer one over the other rather or do you like that kind of rigid stability kind of feeling like I legit feel like I could do pull-ups with this thing if I kind of want to try that now. I'll find something I can prop this up on and see if it'll hold my body weight. I'm curious. I'm gonna find some leaf thoughts down below. I'm see you later.